So, I had this bright idea to make an external power supply by making a dummy battery. My Nikon camera uses 5 volts DC. Well, any normal mobile charge supply and this mobile charger outputs 5 volt DC. But be careful if you're trying to make this of any other cameras as some cameras voltage is 7.4 volts. I chose wood for making this dummy battery well because it's easy to work with and it's electrically non-conductive and I got a lot of them. Then I searched the interweb for the dimensions of my particular battery. The name of the battery is ENEL5. After downloading the data sheet, I got the dimension of the battery so that I can start to make the battery. Then I marked the dimensions in a piece of wood plank and I started cutting it. I fixed the wood plank in a vise and I used a hacksaw to cut it. After cutting, this is the cutout piece. First, I've just checked it so that it doesn't fit the slot. And then, to refine the size, I started to file the block of wood. When I got tired of filing, I used a grinder. This also gives a smooth finish to the wood. Measure the sides frequently so that you don't file too much. After that, I smoothen the back side of the block using a sandpaper. Then to identify where the camera terminal contacts the wood block, I dab some color on the ter terminals and put the wood block. Then now I have the markings on the wood to make a slot for the contacts. Then I cut the slots after. After marking, I also cut grooves into the for the copper rods to sit into. There is also a hole for the wire to pass through. This is the copper contacts that I'll be using for terminal contacts. Okay, if you're watching this, please subscribe as a sub to the channel would be massive. Okay, back to the topic. Then I cut the grooves using a grinder and a hole in the side using a drill. Then we will bend the pieces of copper to fit these grooves nicely. Make sure to cut the grooves a little bit deep so that they will lay flat when you insert them to the battery. Then apply it to some two-part epoxy into the grooves and then I will place the contacts as well as the wire and the wire will be pushed through the hole with adequate length of the wires so that I can solder the wires to the copper rods then I dab the excess glue on top of it to make it strong then I clamp the wires so that they will dry really good and flat and I will solder the terminals using a soldering iron make sure to keep the polarity correct after drying I have sanded the side so that it will slide through more easily the terminals is also sanded a little bit to make the contact more much better okay the dummy battery is very much functional right now and I'll put it to the camera and I'll connect the power bank. This attachment, this dummy battery allows me to use a power bank with much higher capacity so that I can use the camera continuously for a longer period of time. Then I paint, painted the block of wood to make it look better. This is the dried component. Here you can see me load the dummy battery and connect the power bank to it. I'll just push it to the battery slot and close it. The wire comes out through the already available hole in the side. I'll turn the camera on and as you can see every function of the camera works just as normal. The battery status bar always shows full charge. Thank you for watching and if you like more content like this, more DIY stuff, 
please consider subscribing to the channel and if you like this video please drop a like This is how the camera looks on a tripod.